Okay, we are live. We are live. We're live? All right. So we should be Guess who's good. back? Back now. again. Strange Winds is back. Tell a friend um, because we just we fucking please lost tell everyone. Friends. Please it's tell all the, of your the, friends. Guess who's I, back? Guess who's back? Not yes. want to guess. Yeah, it looks like whatever that weird problem was, it got fixed in all the things we had to do. Okay. Weird. Anyway. We are back. Um, we will do everything in a few minutes, let people get here, and then we will jump right into me killing the party. TPK, baby! Let's go! I almost said yeah. some regrettable things. I got five other characters on back burner ready to play. Nice. I would say if somebody wants to throw the link into Gilded, if people are watching there for the new somebody live has. link on YouTube. Oh, somebody did. Sweet. Uh, Chris Ant. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Fed shirts hard at work. That. Wait, we're like live now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. We're being really boring. <laughs> we're here. That's what matters. Well, we're just. I need to take a, a swig of my coke real quick. Hold on. You know what I mean? All right. Let me do a quick go around. <laughs> we are not. Just shut up. Yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. So. So we're swooshes. See, yeah, no, Kyle's right. The, the hag is reaching through dimensions here. I've accidentally manifested this hag in real. <laughs> life and <laughs> it's haunting all of us so that's scary Chris oh. Hall, right? <laughs> tolerate that hate speech the bob boop is banned we're gonna unpause the map here i ran through all my mojo offline jeez <laughs> <laughs> i'm tired now Yeah, you guys are standing in this forest, um, <laughs> looking at strange totem. <laughs> yeah, and uh, wondering what the heck are, are you on the right trail? And uh, what would you like to do? It gets pretty uh, dark as you look further into. The forested area I here. It. I love the dark. It's just like Nidal. All, all right. You went up and said there's a uh, there's a totem with a fucking weird bird thing. Yeah, it's probably about fifteen feet up on this kind of dead looking tree. Can I roll in a cult to figure out what it might be used for? Go right ahead. Oh my that god, a yours. recall knowledge. Usually we just psychometric everything. <laughs> That one of yours, Blanche. We'll see. Uh, Norin, the best you get out of it is it is most likely a warning. A warning of some kind. Maybe folk uh, art. Either or. Blanche. The, you get the same thing. It is some sort of warning. Um, how are you guys investigating this totem? Well, I was actually going to send my bird up to go grab it and pull it down. Right, so you send the bird up, and the moment it lands kind of on a part of either the branch or maybe even kind of the totem itself, all three of the what look to be crow heads kind of spring up, jaws open, and it lets out a horrid, like, cacophony of screeches that you guys hear echo throughout the forest for at the next 15 seconds or so. Well, they know we're here. Well, that wasn't... Um... We need to well... proceed with caution as we move forward. I'll take uh, perception checks from everybody. <clears throat> Giant bear shows up. Ooh! We're just gonna... Oh, bother. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to drop a... Oh, bother. I'll 
hero point that. We got some funky coloured mushrooms hanging out in this forest. What happens to the colour of my hair? Just because this mm. is a new stream, all sound and sound effects are from Sirenscape. That's fine. Can I roll a nature to see if those mushrooms are hallucinogenic? Sure. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Or would it be survival? Probably nature. Yeah. Thought that was Sirenscape for a second, but it's just somebody mowing in the background or something. <laughs> Damn it! Hold on. Should have known it's not Sirenscape okay. because it's not mariachi music. So let's start with our perception checks. So who got what? So we go we got a couple hero points spent. We got twenty-two. I rolled a three. I rolled a twenty-six. 18, Seventeen with that. Yeah, no. Twenty-six. Okay. Um, you know, besides kind of the deafening bird screech from this totem thing and even after it kind of settles down you guys don't notice much uh you know you hear some other birds kind of squawk and maybe even see some fly out of kind of the close vicinity of the forest you're in but for the most part it's eerily quiet you know there's the normal sounds of you know rustling leaves and kind of the trees and stuff moving, kind of making that scraping sound as they kind of sway a little bit in the wind. But that's kind of all you hear. Question for you still... mechanically. Uh-huh. Could I already have my weapon out? Just is is there like any sort of penalty to just carrying your weapon out? No. No, you can oh, all have weapons out. Um if you would like at this point, you know you are maybe having to attack and some hags i'm going to be uh, ready traveling in dragon stance <laughs> just in case <laughs> um all right uh i'm going to have the bird can the bird carry down the totem uh it more knocks it down it seems to be a little bit heavy but it can kind of nudge it off of the the uh, branch that it's on and it falls you know. all right i want to see if i can psychometric assess it it sure all right uh freakish owners where's your ability somewhere to detect magic and then go with higher speed yada yada you have this ability memorized at this point <laughs> i use it <laughs> all the time you get burned into your brains. You get great sorrow. Uh, probably more than you've ever felt from any other item before. I, I'm going to risk that mental damage. Let's go. Psychometric assessment. All right. Uh, you spend one minute. Abuse. And the creature you see, uh, do I have, can I show, let me find, let me find a photo of this creature's face real quick for you. I really should stop doing this. It only seems to hurt me. <laughs> That's why you see it. You have, familiar you have learned much from Melody. In your oh, no. mind. Um, <gasps> yeah. Agatha Christie! Lady in red. You take I want her horns. Of mental damage. as Five? <laughs> the <laughs> overwhelming sorrow takes over. But that is uh, the hag that you fought in your nightmare not too long ago. All right. She. Um, do I get a general sense of the area she's in when she made this? Um, that... No, because the assessment only allows you to see the person, the face right. of the person. So we're on the right track. It's the hag. 
drops it. a lot of jewelry. I fiddle with a lot of shit. But yeah, what are you guys... So, you know, your last two minutes have kind of been spent letting Blanche do her thing. Um, Are those mushrooms hallucinogenic with my 19 nature roll? You know what? You're not 100% sure. You're still kind of far away from them. You know that i would say the one thing you know is they are not natural to this forest they don't give off the same kind of uh vibe you know they're kind of slightly bioluminescent and you know one of them is you could two or three feet you know the dome is two or three feet round um, it's a strange mushroom they could be um but without really getting super up close to it and maybe figuring out if it's just magically enhanced or okay. what exactly it is. Um, but you think that there's a good chance that they're, they have a solid purpose, whether it's potions or hallucinogenics. Be wary of the mushrooms. They do not belong here. I do not know their purpose, but they do have one. I don't think any of us were planning to eat them besides you, Norrin. Well, they, for all I know, they could sprout out of the ground and grow tentacles and attack us. So just be weary of the shrooms, as my master once told me. All right. I think we should travel in groups. Me and Nord to the front. We'll take a more stealthy approach. Melody, you stay in the back because you're loud as hell. <laughs> I- Blanche and Astonislau, you're both, and Boone. You're both quite proficient in long-range attacks. So you guys will stay closer to the middle. Um, Try to keep Boone, it quiet. Boone will have to stay in a, uh, closer towards you because he's more melee. Well, he's quite uh, ghostly, so that should be fine. And we are going to just no reason whatsoever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Roll initiative just for the kicks of it. We're just gonna go into the order. God damn it! <laughs> for no reason, uh, no, no particular reason whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, you're in a creepy forest. You know, the trees could attack the mushroom. <laughs> and I just need to know where people are. You know, when those um, things happen. Anyway, Nora. When the strange winds blow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, if I go first, I will. And are the, you said something about the space is not quite right. Or... So just, yeah, just use the grids that are on the map as five feet. Because they're All like right. a weird eight. I don't know. I got to investigate that. The map builder I made is made them like slightly bigger than five feet. When I imported it, so that was weird. I'm gonna move to about right there. Yeah, you as, as you get closer, I'll roll over that nature check. Obviously, you know from a distance, you notice that they were out of place. Um, and as you get closer, the green ones are kind of think like a peyote tea type situation. Like those things are used in some very far off places. Um, for shamans and kind of that more, uh, you know, nature-based uh, healers or whatnot to send people into a dreamlike state, uh, so that think of an anesthesia almost like okay. a, a natural form of that. Some people have had spirit visions during it. Some people wake up and it, it felt like seconds have gone by since they, you know, took the tea. But very potent, very powerful, and definitely not from this region. Note to self, come back for the green mushrooms. Uh, is Norn doing anything else? Uh, I want to, but I don't want to get too far ahead of the group. That's fair. That's fair. All right. I'm going to move just a little bit further up right okay. there. All right. It's Donislau. Okay. I'm just going to kind of follow Norn a little bit. Keep my distance somewhat. Um, I'm probably just gonna lay right there, and that'll that'll do it.
Oh, let's see. The silence <laughs> gives yeah. me fear. <laughs> so, Norin, kind of almost out of the shadows, out of this thick kind of thicket of trees, a creature appears to strike at you. My God, it's Swamp Thing. <laughs> I think I can see its genitalia. Just about. Um, it almost Wood. blends in <laughs> very well with all the vines and the leaves and kind of the overhang and everything. Um, and it will attack you. Let's get some mariachi battle music going. I really should have uh, borrowed someone's healing potion before I went first. <laughs> you have disturbed the green. <laughs> All right. This is how the world ends. Not to a great sound, but to a piano band. So basically, oh, I'm going to point that myself. Oh, come on. That is no fun for a first attack. Swamp Thing ain't got no hero points. It does. It does. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, it's still going to miss. So we'll use its second attack. He has such a high attack modifier. How? <laughs> He's got a freaking plus 11. It's because Norrin is the man. So. <laughs> All right. Well, that one will miss. Norrin. This is a very whimsical forest. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever want to listen to Lord of the Rings but with ragtime? <laughs> uh, coming out of the bushes, well, oh, behind you, Mr. You, Frodo. Hello, my baby. Hello, another my baby. one comes out of the trees behind Norin. I think we're marching to Rohan with its music. <laughs> right, I I to strike again. Oh, there we go. That's oh. what I'm talking about. Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right, so. Go ahead and do 30 points of damage from a critical hit. Oh, my mother of mercy. And then... Nice knowing will, you, fellas! You, you will need to click that uh, fortitude button in chat, please, for me, as... Ooh, nice. Suck it! That, I'm going to tell you right now, that is very good. Um, Suck it, Swamp Thing! You, you know, you get attacked, and you see kind of this, like, almost sap goo kind of on the edge of your wound. Uh, but you are strong and hardy, and it does not seem to be doing anything. Uh, and he's going to use his second map to attack you again. Are you, are oh, you kidding me? See, this is what happens when I miss twice. Um, I then <laughs> it was nice knowing everybody. I'm down first round. <laughs> oh my god. This is uh, not good. <laughs> <sighs> right. Well, then, Estanis Lau, you are standing there, and these creatures just... And I got no healing potions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> these creatures just kind of almost meld out of the trees in the thicket and strike Norin almost down. Uh, Norin, I will need you to make another one of those fortitude saves I put in the chat. Ah, Lord, help me. Uh, I'm going to use a... Good. I'll tell you you are right, fine right. right there. All right. right. I'll, I'll tell you if it's a waste of... I was going to use an outlaw die, but okay, I'm good. Uh, it tells you if it's a success, success, doesn't it? Uh, do I have it? It should. It That's tells true. me. Yeah, it yeah, says success, success right. but sometimes even with a success, you'll get yeah. some sort of negative. Oh, yeah. uh, with stuff like that, uh, yeah, yeah. Melody? Well, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Okay, <laughs> he's not looking good, is he? Not at all. I, 
I want to share an experience with you, Noran. I want to share the lashings and the whips where I cat of nine tails my back until the flesh peeled off, but I survived. <laughs> Show me your pain! So go on then. Take them. Take my memories. <laughs> <laughs> I embrace all the pain I can accept from Melody's twisted Holy mind. Holy. I hope you've got a big appetite because I have lived a long life. <laughs> I hope you have a. No, I can't say that. Oh, you never all mind. need a room. <laughs> like 20, I, I hope you have a big enough hole for what Norn has for you. Oh my. Seven healing? Is that what you're. Yeah, I'm healing Norn. Sweet. That's my girl. Do not claim me. I am <laughs> not Melody of Norn. <laughs> <laughs> not, yet. not yet, yeah. <laughs> what do they say? What's the, I've never watched Handmaid's Tale. What's the terminology they use? Of is it just of name? I'm gonna show Melody a pain she ain't ever felt. I, I tend uh, not to watch trash too much. All right, <laughs> Melody. I'm assuming that is your turn then. Yep. Yeah, that's free actions. <laughs> Trying to keep Norn alive. Quick question for you, GM, because I'm sort of in between these two squares. Would yeah. you consider me in, like, the square in, like, here? Or would you uh, consider me in this square? I would say the one in front. Perfect. And it... oh. I could have swore. I said to proceed with caution. Well, <sighs> caution was not abated. <laughs> and behind Melody, another one of these creatures kind of melds out of the thicket and will okay. they're coming out of the ground man what kind of caution can we have for that so JJ wasn't lying when he's, he's gonna kill us <laughs> no more of these fucking saloon shenanigans and talking to old grannies I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, throw it out I don't want to die to the sound of piano music <laughs> uh, does, a, does a 24 hit melody Tell me. <laughs> well, yes. Say, yes, it does. All right, Melody. You're going to take 15 <laughs> points of damage, and I need you to make a fortitude save. Ugh. You're up to 19. Did you roll like a hero dice I didn't see? Yeah, I rolled a hero dice right under it for a five. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see that for some reason. Uh, I might have, for some reason, everything defaulted back to private rolls. I'll change that right now. Okay. Um, uh, I'm, right. I'm gonna re-roll that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Smart play. Oh God. Uh, I'm gonna add an outlaw dice to that. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Well. You, uh, and now ends our story of well, you get, woe. You feel of melody and the plants grow. For a moment, it feels like you're being lashed by something almost enjoyable, and you look, and it's this creature's claws kind of scrape over your shoulder, and it leaves almost kind of a sappy residue that, as it enters your wound, I just think to myself. For some reason, I really miss Space Daddy at this point. When, uh... <laughs> Me too. You know that that <laughs> sap is not good, but it hasn't done anything yet, so... And it has one more attack. Give it nine months. <laughs> <laughs> little swamp, baby. <laughs> uh, with its second attack... Oh, shit. Oh, hi, guys. Say, Jay! Like you guys tonight. Nice knowing you, Melody. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, heals. <laughs> look. Look, this is why I had to restart my computer. It was all lie. I had to get my hands <laughs> in. I didn't upload them before we streamed. You know what? This is what a game is all about. Rock and roll, baby. Let's see these rolls. Oh, oh, my my at least, hey, at least the damage isn't astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> only, only half your hit points, Melody. <laughs> uh, okay. That's what the next time is stealing myself. Stranger. You want I said proceed with caution. <laughs> you keep saying that. It's a bit late. Uh, are you going to attack this guy? Uh, which one? 
I don't know. The one you Protect buy, Melody. Melody. Yeah. I will yeah. be okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Before he attacks that one, I'm going to use fake, fake out to aid him. Ooh. Um, I just nice. fire a quick round at the, the guy's feet to take his attention off. I'll put That's it up really in the chat. Nice. Yep, I got her here. When skill so I'll make an, make an attack roll. I'll choose a threat. Make an attack roll to aid. Perfect. You've just got hit oh, at 15. Right, target, target. Right. And you've got plus 13 to hit, so this should be easy. 21 to miss. Uh, I will. <sighs> Fuck. I'll oh, use a well. hero point. Oh, nice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That wasn't even That's a critical hit, critical. though. A 31. <laughs> I'll, use, you know, I'll use an outlaw dice, too. I'm using it. Yeah, you're, so, well, it you've already ate it. You're, you're good eight. there. You got the... He is effectively... Oh, right. Because it's not going to actually hit him. Yeah, because it doesn't have to... It doesn't have to hit the target. It has to hit the ADC. So it's actually a lot easier to do mm. that than it is to hit them. So... That would be a critical success on that. That would be right? a critical success, and that will give uh, the stranger a plus two um, to his attack. Perfect. Hitting him with the tail. What? You have a gun? <laughs> yeah, but uh, using the tail to knock him to the ground. Um, plus two circumstances. That is loud. Oh my like, gosh. Three more to hit than you. Oh my gosh. Oh! Keep... <sighs> Do we keep the better roll or no? Yeah, we'll keep the yeah, better Yeah, you keep the okay. better roll. Uh, um, he was an outlaw right. dice. Yep. So 24 or 23 hit? 23 will hit. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Um, so this attack has trip. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, four damage though, what? or no? That was your oh, no. dice. Okay. Um, trip just lets you trip w with the weapon. Doesn't mean it automatically applies it when you hit. Okay. Um. So how does that work? Essentially means you can trip with your tail. Okay. Well, then I would like so, to do that. <laughs> oh well, that would be an athletics check instead, not oh. an attack roll. Oh, okay. Well. We'll Whatever, still roll I'll that. Just... We'll still roll that over. That's fine. I... We'll... Okay, perfect. I'm not too worried about it. It'd be a... um, and then it's and then it's versus his class DC. Then right? Is that the change? Or is it is it a contested roll? Or is it just versus his? Uh, it's against its fortitude or reflex. I can't remember which. Okay. This D. Uh, okay, I will say that you knock him over. Excellent. When... So that doesn't count as a strike, correct? It does. It yeah. does. Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you if you go to attack him, it'll be at the second map, so the minus, Perfect. the first minus. Good to know. You're going to drop it on or here or die. Dang. Oh my gosh. So I don't think I could hit him even if I did that. There's a, a... Uh, well with his well, there's a chance. A 23. If you roll an outlaw die and we apply it to the 15, I will tell you there's okay. a chance because of his prone condition. Six. Oh, it's not a six. That won't get it. Five. But well, don't all like JJ is bringing the fury today, folks. <laughs> oh. Yo, you put an encounter into the encounter calculator. It said impossible, and he was like, "Yeah, that's about right." <laughs> well, with the amount of hero points and stuff we have in Outlaw Dice, you know, these things are not always as hard until I roll three <laughs> crit. Uh, it's, a, it's okay, Miss. We don't believe in a no-win situation. <laughs> All right. True. Um. They could just keep rolling ones. That's right. Infamous, you said I could go over and upcast my level one spells, given I'm a something of Sorcerer. a caster. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, like, 
You have unlimited signature spells, so all your spells are signature, so you can up heighten them freely. All right, I'm going to do an act together first, uh, because that guy is not too far away. Boone's going to fire first with a ranged attack with his gun. And this is via through act together. God, I don't want to die to this music. <laughs> <laughs> 26. I want to live long enough for JJ to find the appropriate music track. Exactly. I just, I just keep forgetting to get in here. That's three lightning damage on dropping a outlaw die. Oh, yeah. You're right. That's uh, four more. I can count. Seven damage electric. Okay. Uh, does it seem to have some sort of resistance, or it just takes it? Uh, it seems to take the damage. Alright, I'm going to now cast Magic Missile. Uh, three dots, uh, heightened at second level. I don't know how to do that. Uh, I when you click on I, this, I, I don't you an option. <laughs> So if anything, we'll just roll the damage one extra time, oh. or however many times. So I get an additional uh, missile if I... Okay, if you're so two that's... levels higher than if you're, cu oh, if you're casting at a third level. Only a third level? So if even if I heighten it, it doesn't fucking do anything? Well, it, it's a level one spell. It says heighten plus two, which means if you're two levels higher than level one, you get an additional magic missile dart. Oh. So if it was cast at level 3, there will be an additional dart. If it was cast at level 5, there will be two additional darts. Level 7, three additional darts. It doesn't scale well, so, apparently. I hate It scales with sometimes. your player level, not like... Yeah. Alright. Rolling first damage at this, this boy. Okay. Alright, uh, that's two. Out I'm gonna just burn through all of my outlaw die, because I want these things dead. Well, that's how you do it. One point at a time. <laughs> hey, I'm just thinking know. of... Uh, hey, I'm not being game sarcastic. Yesterday. I'll take whatever I can get yeah, here. Uh, the game yesterday where we had a rogue who's level one and dealt like 39 damage with a crit. <laughs> All right, that's... Spellcasters uh, are that's not nice. good damage dealers in 2e. Come on. Well, I focus yourself. on healing. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Give me six. Thank you. So she hails a whole bunch of darts at it. And then, uh, yeah, you see for a dart. some uh, flicks and stuff coming off of its body. You're not sure if it's foliage around or actual pieces of it. As these darts sink into it. Do they also do these things look undead? Um, that would require <laughs> a recall knowledge action. Right away, you're unsure. It actually, um, I, I'll look something up, but go to the next turn. Yeah. If you, for some reason, can do that for free, let me know. So All right. One of these creatures comes out of the forest. Son of a bitch! Next to Astonislau. <laughs> oh my god. Be, I won't survive. Be strong, <laughs> my brother. Oh, he told us we're going to hate this forest. I did. I told y'all we should have um, set it on fire. <laughs> just a regular hit. Oh, shoot. Still 300 damage. Uh, 16 damage. Okay. And I will need you to make the fortitude save I put in chat. Okay, I'm going to reroll. All right, you are good okay. with the 27. Cool. The second attack, though. Map. Will also hit. Same thing. 14 damage, and I will need you to make that re uh, fortitude save. I just put it to chat. Good. All right, you saved from that one. Norin. All right, son of a biscuit. Um, I, have a, 
I have a quick question. Of um, course. Do I get my reaction back at the top of the round or when my next turn comes? Uh, your turn. I'll we'll we'll say okay. reactions will come back at your turn, just because you can kind of use them up until you reset your action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. For my first action, you'll see Norin's feet and hands erupt in a fire. I'm going to use key strike. I'm going to use... I thought I had fire. What? Yes, fire. All right. There it is. I'm assuming plants are hurt by fire. I don't know for sure, but I'm going with my gut here. And I'm going to kick the ever-living shit out of Swamp Thing here. Nice. I'm going to use a hero point. All right, I hit. God, I didn't crit with a 30. You son of a... Uh, I will tell you, if you use an outlaw dice, there's a good chance that you will crit. Use an outlaw die. 34. That would be a crit. All right, so I'm going to crit. And so I did 44, and I'm also oh. going to use an outlaw die on that. And that will be double two, right? Uh, No, I'm not going to have no. a double on that outlaw die. It's just because I let you use them on everything. All right, he takes 46 damage. All right. That's with my first hit. And let's go ahead and try to kick him one more time. Does the fire seem to be doing anything more or not? Um, well, you're not sure if it was the power of the kick of the fire. It's not like the creature is on <laughs> fire. Um, there are probably bits and pieces of it that are smoldering. Uh, the 21 will be a miss. Uh, I'm going to use a outlaw die. I'm not sure what I need to hit. So let's see. Does a 25 hit? 25 will hit. Nice. 13. Are you kidding me? I'll do another outlaw die. Yeah. Oh. So 18 on that. And this thing smolders and collapses to the <laughs> ground. <sighs> That's my turn. <laughs> that took a lot. <laughs> I got one. This is fucking Honest nail biting. Wow. Just like, Ash. oh man. <sighs> we got this. We can do it. I can't believe this is the first time something's hit me in melee, and I forgot to use the reaction object I bought. <laughs> Oh, uh, JJ went over and put it in chat, uh, in a private chat, what I might use. Oh, on, uh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna gotcha, gotcha. just unload three rounds into this guy in front of me. Hmm. So, uh, is it worth using outlaw dice? Well, if oh wait, I don't know. This guy's good. This is working. Um, uh, I mean, it hits. Mega uh, An outlaw dice. There is a chance. Got to roll high outlaw though. I think. Good crit. Yeah, you'd have. Well, to I've got like nineteen high. of them, so. And that nice. is that is the <clears> only <throat> number that okay. would have gotten you the crit. Yeah. Well, so okay, cool. My man. All right. Please. What? Ooh. It's striking runes, man. I didn't even striking know runes. Did that much damage. <laughs> striking runes are awesome. <laughs> Crazy. You also, he's uh, got fatal on it, so he does even more of a crit. I'll follow Norid's example and I'll put an outlaw dice on that, too. <laughs> you damn straight. <laughs> 49 <laughs> points of damage. Uh, it doesn't look dead but you see that kind of like sap sustenance sustenance stuff like dripping out of the hole in its chest 
and it kind of its eyes go wide for a minute and look at you. You did some really good damage. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna use pistol twirl. Um, I'm gonna. That was with my slide pistol. So I'm gonna pull out a dueling pistol and just kind of start like, you know, playing with it in the air to uh, hopefully throw him off guard. So I need to faint, which would be a deception check, if I'm understanding that correctly. Yes. Real quick, faint action. Uh, yep, a, a deception check against the target's perception DC. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, it was still. She's a beats. Yeah, I only got one last shot. Outlaw die. I mean, yeah. It's a twenty-two. That is exactly what you need. Oh, oh, that is your goodness, target dude. number for that. Okay. So, he's off guard now. Let me apply that real quick. Okay. And then I'm just going to whip the slide pistol back up and try to put one between his eyes. All right. Uh, this is at that second map. Yeah, map. the second map. Attack, map. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I'd have to hit a uh, at least a five or a six on an outlaw dice, right? Uh, no, I'll say you have a very good chance if you use an outlaw dice. Oh, right, because of the off card. Off card and everything. Yep. Oh, nice. Is, that man. will okay. hit it. So that's just a straight. Yeah, just straight damage. Uh, drop swamp things, brother. Drop them. <laughs> that's not going to be enough. Good use an outlaw damage, die, but it. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> I mean, that, that God, I have a lot of them. So, <laughs> 14. And you will right between the eyes. Oh, of the my gosh. And it, the back of its head just explodes as the bullet. I'd give you the, the forest. sign from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, vaya con Dios. <laughs> and it All is right, the that, other uh, grim stalker. Next to Norin. He's going to lash out with his attacks. If you do not kill me, plant creature, you will die next. Uh, I'm going to hero point that. <laughs> Take the hit. And then I need you to make the fortitude save, Norin, as you take 15 points of damage. And you're fine on that fortitude save. It's going to go for its second attack. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, well, it's gonna just jump to his third attack then. Nice. Alright. You kidding me? Uh, 19 points of damage, and then I get fortitude save again. Uh, I'm going to hero. No, uh, I'm oh. going to outlaw die that. 24 make it? That will make it. You will succeed on that check. Nice. And that's going to be its turn. I feel like I don't remember where the other... I think it wraps up. Okay. All right. Infamous seemed to disappear for a moment. Not Ooh. Oh, okay. You are there? Okay. Uh, you... All right. My turn, yeah. right? Yep. Like, am I going to explode with sapling goo? Um, no, but you do take some damage. As oh, no. this Not good. Has seven yeah. hit points. Enters oh. stage one. He will take four points of poison damage. I think I should. I think I meant to take that at the end of my turn. That's fine. You can take it at the end of your turn. Um, right. 
first of all, I am going to battle medicine myself. Okay. Oh, I am going to re-roll that. Oh, come on! Can you re-roll it again? <laughs> I... You cannot fucking... Wow. You... I... Are... Did I can't you just kill yourself? No. Nearly, but no. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take your poison but... damage. So, I can battle medicine myself a second time because I am a medic. Nice. Oh my so, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Four, one. Don't, don't so, roll another so 14, I please. I literally, it's literally the only number he can roll to fail that check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Melody tries again. The suspense okay, well, is killing I me. Yeah. I can't do risky surgery because I will kill myself before <sighs> I heal myself. So I need to roll at least a four. <clears throat> hey. There you go. Good job. Only, oh, Jesus Christ, only seven hit points. I barely hit <laughs> myself for two hit points. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to spend my turn moving... Um, I will come on. If they have attack of opportunity, I'm done. Look, if they have attack, don't give them any ideas. All, I'm done too. Uh, do I have doctor's visitation yet, or am I too new to dedication? I I don't. Dang. Uh, I'm just gonna move here. Yeah. And that's my entire turn. I'm immune to, <laughs> immune to my own battle medicine. They don't have the fun uh, reaction. Norrin, if you want to be healed, you're going to have to come to me. Uh, and then you took that poison damage. Oh, God. How much was it? Uh, Four. Turn. I think you need to focus on yourself right now, Melody. And you have to do fortitude save, I believe, again? Uh, no. So, oh, it's was, a right. weird poison. It stacks. The poison stacks. So every time you get hit, if you keep failing, it'll keep staging up. Um, up to a certain amount of point. Um, ooh, this is that's not really useful in the situation. This might be useful though. I'm the best healer in the world. Um, you should have more than I do, sweet girl. No. He uses, is he moving? That. No, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally clicked. No. I'm a happy go lucky scamp. Don't die. Centered. Actually, he's going to he's going to cast a spell what and, yeah he's going to use two actions to cast entangle um place son of a biscuit first. eater he's going to do it right there so everybody but in, that's where i live i know <laughs> it's a bummer uh everybody in that little aoe uh, if you will, oh, I guess I can target. JJ is the spicy deal. Uh, there's a it. reflex button at the end of what uh, the thing it posts, so we can all press that. Yes. I'm gonna oh. spend a outlaw die. I'm gonna spend one too. <laughs> you can spend a hero point, Melody. Hero point. Uh, and I want to try and add an outlaw on top of that. 23. Oh, nice. uh, 23 will make it. 21 does not. Can I spend another outlaw? <laughs> I know I can't, but I'll ask. Uh, you are immobilized for one round. 
the other everybody else. Oh, so is he's not coming high. towards me then. Uh, but this entire area is now difficult terrain, so it will take ten feet to move in each square versus five. Squares that we last... now can't see because they're being overlapped. And then his last action, he's gonna let loose an attack on the stranger. Okay, from prone, let's do it. Ah! <laughs> he does really well from prone. <laughs> Apparently. I do some of my best work when I'm prone. Uh, and then I will need you to roll that fortitude save that is in chat. Guys, uh, uh, not for nothing, but I only have three actions every round. <laughs> that will s succeed with the 22. Perfect. And that will be his turn. Straight. All right. Second verse. Oh, what are you going to attack this guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm. I'm <laughs> I don't okay. know why it made me move. I'll use my reaction to uh, run away. Give him the aid uh, again to fake out. Yeah, again to give him aid. Yeah. So I'll Beautiful. make an attack. This will be the last round of my slide pistol before I need to reload. Oh, okay. All right, I got to target the dang guy. Yeah, just so you know, we're keeping the. 15 DCs, I think, that were in the old version of it. So as long as you get a 15, you will succeed in the 8. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Then that, there it is. All right. You will get a plus wow. 2 to your attack, stranger. Awesome. Plus 1. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Plus 1 because it's not critical. Just got to add that in here. All right. Hitting them with the... But it's, oh my gosh. Don't worry about that. Just... And we're just gonna... yeah, if you want to outlaw dice, it's at least a guaranteed hit. Perfect. Yep. That'll hit. Perfect. Um, what is going on with this? Go Should be that plus my... It'll be fun, they said. Oh, I I see what happened. It should be that plus my um. Uh, actually, the it shouldn't total? be that. Sorry, it should be uh two d eight plus four. Sorry, it should be that. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna drop an outlaw die on that damage. Okay. So total of twelve. All right, takes some damage. I'm going to hit him again. This actually won't be at minus five. It'll be at minus four because the stranger has a feat for being up close. Oh, um, <clears throat> also, he is suppressed now. Oh, okay. Nice. And the stranger has this overwhelming assault, so my maps are a little bit uh, lower. Can you link the suppressed again? I think it's just pretty much a minus one to everything, isn't it? Yeah, we got attack against uh, target is. Oh no, that's overwhelming assault. Yeah, I got um, suppressed. I'm gonna drop that right now. Yeah. Just because I think family. you. I think it should be in the it. items tab. If you can't find it. Oh, I have it uh, saved on this. Nice. I have it poorly formatted on this. Okay. Cool. Perfect. All right, we're going to hit him again. Um, just got to add a circumstance bonus because it's not a minus. Whatever. Add. Yikes, ski. <laughs> I don't think I could... It, uh, it can, you need a five or a six. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> that was not a five or a six. <laughs> nope, but that ain't it. All right, last attack. You got this. I'm going all out. Okay, you could always sit on that twenty. Him. Come on. Your second. Be the DM and crit. Uh, Be the natural twenty you want to see in the world. Stuff. Oh my gosh. We've done all I can do. He is suppressed, though. 
He is suppressed, so it'll make it harder for him to hit things. He can't move as quickly. Blanche. All right, so the Soul Warden has that uh, sigil ability. Is that fucker glowing? Um, yes, but you think it's because of the totem and not because of these creatures or anything else in the vicinity. Hmm. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, um... You can always use an action to recall knowledge on these creatures. Um... <laughs> I'm going to... Cry. Don't cry. I'm There's going no crying to... in Pathfinder. Back together. Send Boond over to back up Stranger. Mm -hmm. At while... Actually, I'll, I'll send Boond... on the opposite side. When he I'm get waiting. entangled? Uh... I don't think it would... It's not still going, is it, JJ? But yeah, it's the entangled It'd just spell. be difficult to write. It would, yeah, 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 it'd be difficult to write. Still... Yeah, yeah. He will, but yeah, it wouldn't get entangled. No, no. would act on him. Yeah. Well, technically, um, Melody's in the way. <laughs> if we're going by the squares. Am I? What? How am I in the way? Because, um... A uh, five by five square is actually not five by five, or this well, yeah, but I'm bad. Like... So you can use the grid in the spell, uh, but because when I made the map, it was weird and I didn't notice that. So if there is that, you can use this grid for five feet. So you can use that to get around. Alrighty. Because it um... almost lines up if you look, but they're just slightly bigger for some weird reason. I'm not sure why that happened. <laughs> Alrighty. So he'll go on the other side to um, help him out. Um, and he'll first attack. I'm sorry, my turns are always so damn long. Facts. <laughs> you, have a, you have a lot of things you, you do, though. So. That you were totally fine. It's fine. I'm just and picking all, at you. And all I'm going to hero. Yo. Nice. That's six Sonic uh, Outlaw. Okay. Twelve. Nice, nice. And I'm going to experiment. Um, I'm going to go over... This is going to be through Act Together. So he ran, he ran first, then I enabled Act Together so I can go over and pull this off. Okay. Vitality, Lash, if you creature undead or otherwise has void healing. So this is in case, this is me just checking instead of wasting a knowledge point. One creature that is undead or otherwise had void healing. Oh, okay, so if they heal from void damage, is that what I... Yeah. Make sure it does or doesn't. I don't think it does. Doesn't say anywhere. So I'm gonna go with. Uh, notes. Dude, the notes don't say anything. It does just say that they are violently murderous. So. Well, so is Norn. So I can't use this on Norn. <laughs> hey, I'm not violently murderous. <laughs> I'm out here trying to save oh, a damn kid. I don't even know. Uh, what do does you, not see do you, say on his uh, based on how that spell works it does not seem to have an effect i have resistance to void one actually thank you um all right so that didn't work they're not undead cool 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 um that's my turn hopefully i think i'm close enough to am i close enough to melody in case she starts fucking dying uh, like, that I could use willing like death. physically or emotionally? Em uh, physically. <laughs> we'll call me, we'll call me. the range of your thingy? Uh, 30. Uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Yep. Yeah, All right. Yeah, based on the, the only shitty grid. All right, so... You I notice she didn't ask about me, and I'm only at three hit points, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Heal the well, healer. If, yes, but <laughs> if you go down, if you go down, they don't lose a healer. It's fine. <laughs> 
I'm Lawrence, I don't, a very pretentious monk. All right. Uh, I can't move, but I do believe wholeness of body is not a move action. If I am wrong on that, please correct me. Mobilize. You can't use any action with the move trait. It does not have the move trait. You are fine. I don't. So I'm going to. Going to roll healing. Crying is a free action. Well, well, that's not how that works. It should just give me eight hit points. That's fine. I'll do it manually. Yeah, just give me eight hit points, and uh, I believe that should be sixteen. All right, give me sixteen hit points in. Yes, because it is heightened. Oh yeah, I heightened. Yeah. Okay. And I can't do anything else. I don't think. Let me just verify. Uh, yeah, that is that is all I can do. So I hope that's enough to keep me alive for another round. Well, at the end of your round, you kind of the the roots and stuff that were holding your legs down kind of snap off your feet. So next okay. round, you will did you not punch to... anyone? That's a move action, right? Uh, uh, Does it have the move trade? No. Strong oh well. Right. Hold on, I didn't know that was the case. Then, then I will. Then I will attack. I thought I couldn't. No, because yeah, if you look, like, so, like yeah. stand up from prone step. Stride. So I can still use Dragon Tail Kick and all that? Yep. Yeah. I'm wolf. So if you look this at the bottom of it, where a it wussy has the entangle. Pathfinder 2 <laughs> is a little weird with some of this stuff because everything has a tag. And God, yeah, yeah. I end, noticed there was no tag for attack. I just thought that was have, a mistake. Yeah, if it does not have the move tag, then it does not get affected by Oh it. yeah, yeah. Then I'm yeah. then I'm kicking okay. kicking the ever loving crap out of this dude. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm going to spend a hero point. Okay. <laughs> uh, that last that little root, you know, like stopped your foot for a second, you know, had you wrapped. Good grief. One of the vines just crawled up your pant leg, wrapped around your testicle, and you're like, oh, I'm not going to push uh, that. Do you want to re-roll the attack first? I don't. Because you just rolled there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how that happened. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to use a outlaw die. 26 hit. hit. That'll hit. And I'm going to use an outlaw die on the damage. So 19 on that one. And I will use my second attack. I'll use another hero point. Good grief. I just got these hero points too. Yes, use all of your hero points before the hag. <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it to the hag. <laughs> we'll make it to the hag. Uh, yeah, I'm done. I can't. What am I going to do? All right. And Stanislaw. Okay, slide pistol empty, so I make it full again for my <laughs> first action. <laughs> and then Eat I'm just going to shoot two bullet at guy by Norin. Just hold up your mouth. Oh, you yeah. are good enough. People like you, slide pistol. <laughs> <laughs> oh You're going my to gosh. do great. You're going to get that promotion. Ignore that. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> that one will hit. That one will hit. That twenty-two. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Take it. Uh, bam! Take that with an outlaw dice, cause just cause. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Thirteen points of damage. Okay. Okay. Not bad. And then I'll, the, the difference I'll fire in the stats damage between like a normal hit and crit damage is insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why well, you need to be uh, demoralized? Ignore. Get their AC down. Ignore that. Ignore that. There we go. We'll add another one because I got them. Smoke them if you got them. For another right. eight points. Nice. Good, good damage. And uh, I'll stay where I'm at, thus ending my turn. 
You failed one of your fortitude saves last round, so you will take one point of poison damage. Did I? I thought I passed them both. Or or all. I feel like I noted you. I'll take it. That's all right. I'll take it. We don't need no, to get fight caught over up in it. the. We don't need to get caught up in the thorns. This one next to Norin will. Yeah, he's just gonna attempt to kill Norin. Yeah. <laughs> Better men than you have tried. Yeah. It's okay if I drop. I just come back at my symbiote. So it's okay. Day is a good day to die. Good day to die. Yes, it is. It's Stanislaw. Just checking to see. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yep. He's just giving That's me. Full cool attack. Yes. Uh, Hero point throw, that. I'm going to throw an outlaw <laughs> dice on that. I feel like that's. He just needs a one. He's automatically going to hit. Yep. He hits. Uh, 14 points ah. of damage. Ah. And that fortitude save, please. What a scratch. Gonna outlaw die that. All Does right. 23 Still, make it? That will make it. The second attack. Will hit. Nice knowing you. Drop All right. Warren. Nope. Nope. It will not drop nope, me. Yeah, that that will trigger. Uh, I think it'll bring me more than that. Let me pull up my. You've turned into the most horrible thing you could imagine. A Discord moderator. Living vessel. Living vessel dedication. Uh, whether you're willing or not. Uh, let's see. So you spend an hour each day, blah, 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 <laughs> after a week. Entities resurgence reaction. Instead of letting you fall unconscious, your entity takes control of your remain at one hit point and gain temporary hit points. Of the equalizer. Reaction. So you will be... Equalize it. <laughs> Go ahead and hit you with that. Uh, let me add... One there. Okay. And then extra hit points to whatever my whatever is. I don't even know what that is. Uh, you'll get those on your turn. You'll get temporary. The hit points will come in. Okay. Um, well, since you're still standing, he's going to take his third and swipe at you. Oh, you son of a <laughs> biscuit eater, you. Man. Oh, you kidding me? You just want to kill me. We all I mean, him. these the first Ow. the first it's, sentence is fine. The first sentence yeah. of the description of these characters is these violently murderous fae have <sighs> one purpose. <laughs> so they don't. Well, stop. I I almost made it. Everybody, now you're unconscious. He's Thanosing. <laughs> so I can't get to him. Now, uh, also, I do have the feet die hard. So, however, that works. So that effectively gives you an extra round of uh, before you die, if I am mistaken. But uh, after you fall, he will turn his attention. He started turns to look at Astonislav because there are things that have to be done before they can. Uh, and licks his lips. Enjoy their uh, victory. Melody. Well, he's going to get three more to the chest before he makes it over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to move to this square. Uh, and then I'm going to battle medicine, my boy. You're dead, boy. It feels like we should be... Um... This music makes it sound like we should be roaming around an RPG. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the program like, got glitched. For some reason, it feels like Yuna's about to start singing on the Thunder Plains. <laughs> I mean, it would help. Last night here with you. 
this guy was in the real. Okay, I'm gonna heal you. That is my one of my heals. Like better than two D eight. What do you think this gloves do? Melody, now's your chance. Finish him. Okay, two D six plus seven. <laughs> who nor in all the thing <laughs> <laughs> no finish Pick me one. off please Pick finish one. me <laughs> off uh so that's one battle medicine on you Noren, and i'm going to touch you with my hands oh yeah uh, happy ending here we go i'm gonna <laughs> don't roll yeah, your eyes I, at uh, me I witch feel like especially unconscious melody just sticks her finger in your wound you know what i mean <laughs> just like <laughs> oh, she's penetrating me See, I, I was going to go a different direction. I was going to be like, I take my black gloves, I slide them up your torso, and start strangling you a little bit. <laughs> or that. I, I knew you were a choker. So I'm going to heal you for an additional 14. Nice. And you that's did my good. entire turn. That's a pretty good turn. Doran, wake up. Wake up. Rub your what? Oh, make up. Make up. <laughs> this guy is going to spend his first action to stand up. So if you oh he have... moved perfect he stands up. Does that count as a move action? Well, it's got the move tag, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. If... yeah, if you have attack oh. of opportunity. Ooh, I might be just fine, like, li figuring out the rules. Well, quick question for you. Um, I get his two, ass. Get him. I have two things that allow me to reactively strike. Does does that mean I can do two of them? No, you only get you one reaction, one. but you can choose which one. He is still suppressed, so. Alright. Uh, so, um, Boone is going to use a reaction. Ooh, okay. Because he has reactive strike. Nice. This creature stood up the wrong You should have stayed down, now, boy. Is there, is there a gang of, <laughs> like, yeah, well, we're opposite of each other, so. It should automatically apply thing. that. Okay. Yeah, flanking. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I must target. Fuck you sideways. Great roll. <laughs> yes, please. I think they have Fuck you that. again. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can Okay, twenty uh twenty will one? hit with the flanking, so and okay. twenty six. Um twenty six will hit. How uh how close am I to a critical? You could get it on an outlaw die. Uh, that will not get a crit, but that will do a normal hit. Okay. Let me drop. I'm also Come outlaw on. dying this because I want this guy dead. Yeah, I'm also gonna drop an outlaw die on this. Well, what, what does this unified? It, it kills it. Both of your attacks oh, will perfect. kill this thing. So what Wonderful. does this attack look like? From the ghost cowboy and the space cowboy. The Joker. Slamming down with the scythe, so he's just like <laughs> cutting him in <laughs> half. Yeah, he's. <laughs> He stands up and we just start, we kick his knees out and just start. <laughs> it's just give it super brutal. It's not even Street like ball. elegant at all. You both no. just full on huntsman this guy. <laughs> like, you know, office space, I think it was, where they went over and went <laughs> the wild on the fax the machine. Yep. I set my axe down on the ground and uh, Boone puts the guy's Grab mouth your on knees. It. You're like, good job. Yeah. <laughs> Just asshole. This guy's just fake kindling now all over the ground. There's just I hate nature. Snap. Does the spell persist now that the caster is dead? Uh, it's still technically difficult terrain okay. for the duration, but like it's not gonna stop you. It, it's not really gonna matter. I don't think much here in the next few moments. But stranger, it's your turn. All right. Just need to see the range on this. Yeah, forty feet. My. Within 40 feet of this guy? Yeah, so it's a little funny. So... Yep, I'd say so, yeah. Perfect. I'll give it to you. Um, gonna shoot him with my uh, my axe musket. <laughs> After you wipe all the sap off? Yep. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna try to hero die that. All right, we're going to drop an outlaw die on that. You will hit. Perfect. I'm going to drop. Nice. 
Another outlaw die. So 14 total. It's it looks light. like it's it's covered in sap and oozing out of its multiple wounds. Okay. Still breathing. I am going to swap my weapon to my roto laser. Perfect. I'll say that could be one action, the swapping of a weapon. Perfect. It is in that the remodel stuff. It is in the Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, I start sense. blasting at him. So the way the roto laser works is he actually makes a um a reflex save. Okay, perfect. Let me do that. Oh wait, nope. Sorry, not with the roto laser. I I bought that. That would be the, the the shotgun one is the reflex save. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> it's been a second since you. Ah. <laughs> oh, you got some sap in the barrel of the roto laser, and it like, you know, because it's an energy bolt, kind of like out of the uh, the barrel instead of. Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> instead of shooting across, that yeah. uh, never happens that quickly. Um, <clears throat> uh, just, uh, yep, uh, ignore that. All right. Um, I'd like to move in. As... Just like when you went up against the gnolls. <laughs> <laughs> or the glitch goblins, whatever they're called. Yeah. <laughs> goblins. All right. So it says this is 20 feet for me to That's run. That's a lie. So how much is that actually? So it's difficult terrain. So each one of those Please. is going to be 10 feet of movement. So it's going to be double. I just... You're the worst. <laughs> Um, okay, so he's going to use, I guess, two movement to, that would be 25 feet in total, two movement to get over here. Yep, so that would be, yeah, 50 feet, effectively. Mm-hmm, and, uh, Blanche will run up through an act together, so I can, she, oh my goodness, just, I guess, just take a step and then get covered in Yeah, movement. you're, you're. Yeah, it's pretty much like vines and overgrowth that, you know, you either need to step kind of over or you, it's just tough to get through. What is up with tonight? Today? Uh, this is crazy. <sighs> Hero. The gods are not on our side. That'll hit. For us, my god's on my side. side. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, but... we survived, I guess, so. Maybe would the gods are on our side. Would a seven kill it, by the way? Strikes it down, yeah. So you can have your uh, law die back, that's fine. Okay. Your first hit killed it. Just just runs in and just slices it in half with the scythe where it then, like, the vibration makes it explode. And the encounter is over. You guys have killed the Grim Stalkers that were waiting for you. With caution. I, I said proceed <laughs> with caution. I go over to Norin and Melody. We, we cannot be any more we, cautious. Wait, is Norin down still? or No, I'm up. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you wake up, <laughs> Melody standing over you with your hands on your neck. Get up, Norin. <laughs> Thank you, my... My dark mistress of pain. He's been really weird with me since we fought a bunch of ghosts. <laughs> we we bonded, okay? He carried you majestically That's over right. the rain in while the you were sand, injured. When there was only one tra trail. <laughs> <laughs> where Doran carried you. <laughs> um, Blanche is going to uh, like march straight up to Norin. And she's actually going to whip off her mask and, Whoa. like, push it into his hands. Wear this, please. If that is a way to heal, use it on someone else. I will heal Ooh. naturally. It's not a way to heal. All Just right. Wear it on... for now. Uh, in the inventory, look I up... I put on her kinky sex mask. In the inventory, look up psychopomp mask. Did you put all it in this the group weird. stash sheet? But, yeah. Uh... Um, why don't you watch your whore mouth? 
<laughs> Maybe don't open yeah, she's up got the, a point. <laughs> the group stash. Well, well, JJ can't, the rest of us can. <laughs> Where did we put it again? <laughs> you oh. you could just change your pronouns, ley lines. No, I could never. <laughs> we, we, we have to lose an entire section of functionality of the system because <laughs> ley lines is insistent on his pronouns. I don't think that mask will do anything for me, but... Alright. Um... I... Are people just throwing healing potions on themselves? I, I, I pull out my serrated tools. I can heal you. Why don't I'm you fine, fine. healing yourself? You look like you're about to die. Again. You look like you're about to throw away 30 gold pieces. <laughs> Well, we have some guys, little uh, money. <laughs> I need about half an hour to regroup. I could also use half an hour. I don't know. Oh, okay. So the psychopomp mask is really good to do if somebody is already unconscious and dying. But uh, because... the chances of him, of me being next to Norin. Is oh. very unlikely. Ah, oh, you want me to just it. wear it through combat? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I got what you're saying. God. So I can't willing death him, and this is the best way to keep him up. Yeah, but it doesn't it look, look cool. Does 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 it look like the picture, or is it a cool looking mask? It's a cool looking mask. <laughs> I, I imagine it's like mask. a plague doctor. Because I want to look cool if I'm going to be wearing a mask. <laughs> you know that yeah, matters yeah. in a game. <laughs> Yeah, for her, it's kind of like a plague doctor mask. Okay, I will wear the mask then. All right. Let's all take a nice, quick little break. And please, for the love of goodness, proceed with caution. How much more precaution could we have proceeded with, my friend? They come from the ground. It Are we not to walk? Point. Actually, you walk first next time. How about that, man from the from the stars? So as you guys are sitting here healing, kind of regathering yourselves, uh, you notice that night is kind of quickly falling and the forest is dark. Um, you think that even as you walked in, you know, only that 50, 60 feet, it went from Pretty much, you know, clear skies and into kind of almost on the border edge of dim light. Uh, so you think that any further you go, unless you have some sort of way to see in dim light or darkness, it'll be hard to track enemies. I do have a lantern. A lantern will do it. I have a torch if needed. I think it's the like sigil a blue also, lantern. Uh, the, the sigil lantern. does a light. Hold on. I had light spells, but I refuse to cast them. Oh, I uh, I added light to the stranger for his hidden lantern. Mm. And it's like a blue laser sack lantern, so it's like a blue hue. If he just equips the lantern, it is. Oh. put a light on him. <laughs> I love it. Hey, blue sack lantern. Oh, that's, that's creepy. That feels like Alan Wakey. Mm-hmm. A little darker blue. There we go. Uh, yeah, your your little swirl warden dedication thingy. Um, I would say glows ten foot radius. Yeah, okay. So it's not his lantern's gonna be a better light than <laughs> your warden area. Um, but yeah, who's all? I know you guys have done some potions. I know if Melody heals, it'll take some time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need like heal everybody. I I'll say an hour probably. We'll consider it like a short rest. All right, right. an hour. I won't need any heals. I'll automatically heal myself with my cool stuff. Uh, Melody, I, I uh, take it back. If uh, you, would, I kind of got. If you look at my back, I, one of them kind of got me. I walk up to his wound. I just kind of like put my finger in it. Here, does it hurt when I do this? <laughs> yeah, that's the spot. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
That is the exact spot I was stabbed. <laughs> Uh, the rest of you, as oh, Melody is going around uh, doing some healing, uh, what are the other ones doing? I do pick those blue mushrooms while, while we're waiting. Yeah, you can just make a note of just do like three. Yeah, three blue mushrooms is fine. Thank you, sir. There are, are those kind of pink ones, which are more like bulbous, uh, rolling over your your nature check from those uh you don't you don't recall those having any sort of medicinal properties except for if you do pick it you can kind of use it as a slight light source like those would be ones you would find <laughs> in caves and stuff like that that would give off some light it's just again just an unnatural mushroom um, which could be these creatures could be the influence of the hag if you know all of this is fey related they're be what, what's going on all right i'm gonna take some of the pink purple ones too just to have yeah. just in case uh the the bulbs on these ones are you know a good foot in diameter so they are big just so you know it's not gonna affect uh, anything in particular astonished well got 11 hit points back by the way nice Ranger got 25. Oh, perfect. Uh, I just remembered. I don't have continuous healing because it's. I deliberately decided not to take it because it never got to a point where you guys would accept me healing you, so I didn't bother taking <laughs> it. Uh, so, unless we take three hours, I'm not going to be able to heal up to full. Um... So, even by the end of the hour uh, that you are healing, kind of, or, you know, the, the short rest, we'll call it, uh, that. You guys kind of arrived at the forest late afternoon. So by the time you've done kind of all this investigation, it is that time where you would normally have stopped for the night. Um, you can trudge forward into the forest, maybe locate a <coughs> spot that seems safer, or just trying to find the hag now and getting everything over with. Uh, you're not in any I, danger I... of having a, like any fatigue checks at the moment, but I just want to let you know just nighttime now we could just go and rest on the outside of the forest i i almost don't want to rest because the little girl and it already took us a couple it took us a while to get here right i forgot about the girl <laughs> Dark girl or Hank will really fucking character i am fine with moving forward but whatever is best for the group i feel like we could push forward i agree well, how long has it been since that fight? An hour. hour. <laughs> okay, I need to undo some things. Oh no. Well, just... <laughs> Stabs herself. <laughs> Stop okay. it, Melody, no! Okay, I'm on 14 hit points. <laughs> Someone give this girl a drink! I yeah, going... I have, uh... So, Sorry, Blanche, as you're kind of in this area that has, like, a clear path, you know, past little purple mushrooms that Norrin has uh, picked. And Norrin, you may have even seen it, too. You know, maybe another, about 100 feet from you, there is a really big tree kind of behind a rock. Again, kind of in the shadows of the rest of the forest, but with your dark vision kind of kicking on, everything kind of becomes a little bit easier to see with, without shadows. Uh there is a giant, what looks to be dead tree. You know, it doesn't have any leaves or it doesn't look you know, like the pines and stuff like that that are in here. And that is about 100 feet from you. Uh, I would absolutely love that, to go walk up to the creepy, creepy no, tree. Great. Yeah, I'm going to go with the church that, just in case. Know, it's the rest <laughs> of it's the forest and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Melody, take this. And uh, he grabs your hand, puts a breakaway agus in it as a reaction and negates five points of damage. <laughs> Breakaway ages. Yeah. The hell is that? How do you... It's from Starfinder. What is it? It's a Starfinder. It's a little token that, as a reaction to taking damage, you can break it and it'll absorb five points of damage. And then you can take an hour to rebuild. How it. long have you had this? Uh since the beginning of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> he just forgot. 
As you all kind of what? stroll up to this tree and the stranger, that kind of eerie blue glow from your lantern kind of sets the whole scene in front of you. This tree stands well above the rest. It's easily 40, 50 feet tall at the highest part that you can see. There are no leaves on it. Does not doesn't have any vines or moss or anything growing on it. This tree is bare of all what you would normally see, kind of just naturally growing around the floor of the forest. Do hags live in trees? Well, you're not sure. You don't see any doorways or any windows or anything. You see some knots that you could probably look in, you know, where you might find, you know, a forest animal or something like that living in. The bark of this tree is stark white Uh, you see white oak some of the spots that are split or even in the knots it almost appears hollow you're unsure just kind of looking at where you're looking at Um, but i will take perception checks from everybody as you kind of get closer to this tree i figured out how to hold my lantern (laughs) i should just have equipped Oh, I'll change. Yeah, and he figured it out. Oh, hero. Melody, I have a couple of lesser healing potions if you would like one. And if this has anything to do with the hag, that's a 27. Okay. I mean, I would my hunting, right? at this point. Okay, so I feel like, do I, I just... I feel like you have a very poor way of managing gold, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm broke at this point. <laughs> Technically, you gave a hag, or you gave a hag oh, disciple. <laughs> I'm just playing my character. <laughs> no, well, I, it, just, it, it just dawned on me that, in. yeah. She's got like a fur coat, big metal <laughs> chain around her neck. <laughs> <in that. laughs> She's got a grill on. <laughs> She's Meanwhile, the, the, the kid still looks poor. <laughs> Everybody but Estanislav notices <laughs> that about 20 feet up that's not what I want in a couple spots so like anyway uh, a couple spots kind of higher up on the tree there looks to be are they you know, they're you're you're getting into the dim light of the lantern, so it's kind of hard to see exactly what they are. But they they look to be maybe cocoons or something hanging that is wrapped. Like you don't see any features, but you see an object up there. And in the dim light, uh, Blanche, I guess because of your dark vision, you can kind of cocoons uh, would be the best way to describe. There's three of them in this tree. It looks like it is something that is wrapped. Uh, and it is from where you're at. You can tell that it's in between three and five feet in like size. Um, like if a person was be... in a fetal position, they could be inside said cocoon. Or a child. Or a child. Yeah, maybe a small person. I mean, it could be a gnome, halfling, dwarf, something like that. A child. It's something mm. could a be goblin be. Goblin, even yeah, even even these grim soccer creatures, maybe uh, they were on the shorter side, even though they were creepy looking. May I use uh, an occult mixing in with the knowledge that I did read up so- on some stuff from hags? Yeah, to see if this ahead. is hag related. Go ahead and roll. Right. The stranger starts giving Dune style hand signals, but then remembers <laughs> not nobody knows what. He- <laughs> uh, with a 28 you definitely think this is something to do with the hag but what that is is this a ritual area is this kind of something she is preparing to use the use of this obviously whatever it is is affecting the tree as well uh, so, like it's parasitic it, it could be like that. Maybe it's the maybe the magic of the world around is going through the tree. It's a conduit. The tree is a conduit of some sort, and it's either affecting the things that are hanging, or it is using the things that are hanging to feed off of. 
that you don't know, but you know that there is some sort of uh, relativity to that. Is the tree giving these things some sort of power, or is it taking energy from them? You don't know exactly, but that's the gist you kind of get, is you kind of see the wrappings, and it almost looks like giant leaf that they're wrapped in. Think of kind of like a like a, a wrapped cigar, where like a you tamale. can see... Exactly. You can see kind of the the vines of a leaf in some of the wrapping. Or, you know, are those leaves from this tree? Again, it, it just it makes sense that they're all connected by this. Tree I could climb this tree and cut. No, I don't see them. Never mind. You see um, the objects, but oh, okay. You know, you, you know that they're there. Either. How how high up are they? Uh, the furthest one is thirty five feet up. So they're within. They're about twenty to thirty feet. Kind of on um, oh. Are you guys okay with me popping Boone over there? That's are fine. All right, I um, could also well, climb the tree if needed. I'm very athletic. <laughs> let's ask the stranger first. How do we proceed with caution? The floor yes, is yes, open to you. Yes. How do we proceed with caution in this moment? Glorious leader. Probably best not to send our strongest person all the way up in the tree. I say popping Boone up there is probably Okay, a I'll good stay point. here. <laughs> I think we all know what he meant. <laughs> yes. Astatus Astatus Lau stay on the ground. I pop Boone, say, yeah. pop Bo Boone up there because you could always call him back. Boone just goes over and tips his head, boss. And uh Blanche will pop him out and go up pop him up on the upper branch thirty five feet up because I do have a range of a hundred. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you you know these branches are thick enough to where you know a human-sized figure could stand on most of them. So Boone pops up. Um, are you having him try to delicately take this thing off, or just kind of cut the connect connection cord, the umbilical cord, whatever you want to call it, to the tree? Delicately. Also, we should probably maybe, if we don't want to harm what's inside, do we want to try and catch it if it falls? Yes. Can he uh, peel it open and see what's inside before? I will need uh, Boone to roll me an athletics check. The big twist is it's actually cotton candy. It's like killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, so Nyla, what is oh, it with these Boone. ones? Wow. JJ, JJ, I hero point, JJ. All right, well, you got a bunch of them today. Oof. <laughs> oh, nice. That's so cool. I'm jealous mm -hmm. of that. 15. 15. Uh, you notice something weird because, you know, you're pretty much in tune with what Boone does. And as he, you know, he can interact fairly well, you know, with kind of the material plane when needed. Um, for almost a second, he like grabs this thing and disconnects it. And it, it almost, his kind of interaction with the material plane almost disappears. And this thing almost just falls out of the tree. But the last second, using your ability in him, you kind of like catch it on its way down. And you uh, get get it on ground level. And it is intact. It's probably hit one or two branches. But it is not you know, open or anything like that. All right. Um, I'll take out a little, my little sickle, and I'll try to see what's inside. You know, kind of like how you would open up a, a snake egg? Yeah. When they start uh, Go ahead and roll me a medicine check. Oh, no, I should have had Melody do this. Shit. Well, okay. Uh, Come you... in a cocoon with a serrated blade. Right. Come on! <laughs> Uh, no, you do a pretty good job of opening this kind of cocoon. Again, it's probably right around four feet in length, a foot and a half wide. And you kind of cut it. Where do you start? Do you start from where you think the top is or where the bottom is? There's a You can see what looks to be almost the stem coming from one side. Um, I'll start at the tip. To the tree. Good. We need uh, more. I'm working my way down. You start at the tip and work your way down, and as you get kind of, I don't know, a foot 
down into it. It's almost like, as a reaction, a figure sort of sits up. It's... This thing was so tight inside this cocoon that the instant you release some of that pressure, it just kind of springs out. And it's a body of some kind, but it is in some stage of being dissolved. And it just kind of goos out of this cocoon and is left with part skeleton, part gooey skin, part gross bodily goo. Instantly popping Boone uh, after seeing that, popping Boom up, getting the other cocoons down as quickly yeah. as they possibly can. Are you trying to do them safely or are you just kind of getting them down? Uh, safely in case there's someone still alive in there. Uh, Boone will need to make two athletics checks then. All right. Um, does I'll cast a guidance on him for the first one. Uh, that would be the first one is that'd be a 19 on the first. Are you satisfied with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just mind games now. <laughs> I don't know. That's what my last date said. Um, <laughs> Um, I'll I'm sure she point... was very pleased. <laughs> well, I know how to treat my girls good. Um, okay, I'll, I hear a point it that didn't work quite as well. I will outlaw dice this the fourteen. All right, so I am satisfied with my eighteen and twenty. Perfect. The first one uh, on its way down does get a little bit of damage. So by the time it gets to the ground, it is already open. Open it and kind of leaking body goo um, it is you know a mixture of whatever organs skin blood muscles sinew all of those things have slowly started to dissolve by being in this cocoon and it just oozes out uh, this the last one however he gets down without any problems uh, I'll open it up it's probably going to be full of sadness and disappointment uh, go ahead and roll me that medicine Sounds like marriage. I joke. I'm, Hero. I, I'm, I'm just joking, honey, if you ever watch this. It's great. <laughs> Love it. On the last one, you open it up, and it is not as cooked, we'll call it, of a being inside. You can at least tell it's a human, and even that it might possibly be female. What? It's still real mushy. I don't know if you've ever mud or like fake, like the the prosthetic masks they use, where like it's just like real kind of pliable and mush. Like whatever's under the skin has maybe started to dissolve in goo, but you can tell it is a female. Uh, I'm thinking not... of the movie Cab Cabin Fever, where you yep. push right into the flesh. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I was thinking of uh, it does not. I will tell you right now because I know what your next question is going to be. It does not seem to be a child. Okay. In age uh, and well, stuff like that, this seems to be an adult. Oh wait, no, I didn't want to do spirit seeker, spirit sense. Any dead? Uh, are there ghosts around? You, because of your connection to Phrasma and the souls you don't actually sense a soul you don't sense that part of a being that passes into phrasma's realm these are just husks oh they're changelings and with that we will leave that as the cliffhanger ah! so she cooks people she cooks them up Soylent Green is people. It's <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm tasty. Make some people pang. Great speaking people. Sheesh. Yes. Uh, you guys have entered people into the forest, green. fought some grim stalkers, which could be guards, could just be here naturally. Nobody's really wanted to roll on what their purpose is. Uh, hmm. You find. Pretty relatively close to the edge of the forest, this giant dead tree, it looks like, uh, with these cocoons eating people that are 
you don't sense any souls or anything like that leading to kind of the further mystery of what's going on uh, uh, but yeah so we're burning this tree down alive? next game right yeah no, no. i got elk is fire this, is this person still alive because i can aura sight them if they are <laughs> they no, have no souls definitely no. dead ah uh, shit we're Damn allowed to burn dead people. ain't got no souls but yeah, so we will uh, dive more into the forest and what exactly is going on here uh, next week. Uh, before we do that, we'll go around here and see what some of you are up to on other things or on other channels and whatnot. Uh, we'll start with uh, Silent Witch, and then you can just tag who you would like. Alrighty. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I go by Silent Witch on the Geeks and Gamers Tabletop Gilded. Um, I was planning on doing Crondor today, but I am just very, very tired after Vegas. So um, that'll be next week. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, But later on today, we will be, I'll still be doing my watch along with Common Nerd back when Who Was Good. We're doing a little bit of a special thing. Uh, we're going to watch uh, the episode called blink it's a it's a very very good episode with uh introducing one of the most beloved uh villains of who um yeah. yeah and um we're gonna watch blink but then we're going to delve into a little bit of torchwood so we're gonna watch the first and second episode of torchwood after after blink so come join us i tag the ley lines because he's next to me on the screen. Hello, I am Caleb from the band Ley Lines and the band Fires of the Albatross. Ley Lines just had a new song called Feel Free come out. It is a um, a track very similar to Eric July's band Backwards, so it would mean a lot if you would go, go over to our channel and uh, just leave it a like and a comment just to kind of push it out there um, or share it to someone that you think might like rap and metal. Um, and uh, also go and check out Mega Reacts channel because he did a reaction to it and it was really, really good. Uh, other than that, you can find me here on the Geek and Gamers Tabletop channel for, on Fridays where I play Raycona the Wizard. Uh, you can find me here on Sundays playing this game. Um, and you can find me on Saturdays over on the Moonskull channel where I play Moravgi the Force Sensitive Wookiee for our Star Wars Saga Edition campaign. Uh, aside from that, you can find me over on uh, Savage Talks channel on Fridays coming soon for our show Kaiju Watch, where we'll be uh, watching through all of the old Kaiju movies as we make our way towards the newer uh, age. And I will tag Infamous. Hey, uh, I'm Infamous, aka Josh. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching us attempt to play Pathfinder 2E in all of its glory, you might be interested to know that I run uh, paid Pathfinder 2e games over at startplaying.games slash GM slash infamous. Uh, do not have any slots open in my Kingmaker game, which is full to bursting, but uh, do have an Abomination Vaults game and a Rust Henge slash Seven Dooms for Sandpoint listing that hasn't started yet. Uh, beyond that, you can also go to my YouTube channel at No Power Here, where I talk about TV shows and movies. Uh, and I will hand it off to Sky Knight. Hi, I'm Sky Knight. You can find me on Gilded. Otherwise, you can't. So don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Clint. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, I'm Clint Mega Reaction. You can find me mainly on YouTube, where I post reaction videos. I'm going to be dropping five episodes of Babylon Five this week on YouTube, so check that out. I'm also going to be dropping some more reaction to Fallout, which is surprisingly good. Uh, you can also catch me on Patreon for uncut reactions if you want to drop five bucks. Give me five bucks. Come watch some stuff over there. Also, go into Gilded. Go to the World of Darkness channel. Start chatting it up in there. I'm trying to get some more players. All my games are free because I'm a bad businessman. So hit me up. Let's play some games. And that's all I got to say. All right. Well, I think that brings it back to me then. Uh, so first off, thank you guys for being here today to watch us play uh, Strange Winds, this uh, Pathfinder 2E 
is the system we use and we break it and we do what we want with it because rule of cool. Um, yeah, so hang out, stay tuned for more Sunday morning stuff. I can also be found, at, found on the Thursday night, March of the Dragon Queen uh, game here on the Geeks and Gamers tabletop channel. You can find me in the Gilded or any of the links that the uh, Fed shirts are putting up. I do have a couple listings for Seven Dooms of Sandpoint for start play. Uh, so if you would like to play with me as the GM, join those. Um, they're just kind of the times I have available, so we'll kind of see what happens there. And then I do stream from time to time on some of the platforms, Kick and Twitch. And yeah, you can just kind of come hang out, and we'll see all of you guys next Sunday. Thank you for Aphrodisius for the 200 earlier. Yes, and thank you so much. Who was the... That saved so us. It, it did. Brian. So good it broke yeah, us. Yeah. It broke the stream. <laughs> we got the gold renewal on Gilded sent to us from Fantastic Sarcastic. So thank you for that. Again, all of these fantastic. have saved them this uh, session since for some reason and, I was about to kill players. And Wilson, the unauthorized, uh, dropped a um, hero point to Serenity last stream. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. I was like, I feel like I was missing something in all the chaos of my internet wanting to die. He couldn't stay, but he wanted to drop the simpage, <laughs> ah, in his words. That's thank you, Will Dead! <laughs> all right, well, we will catch all of you guys later. Have a great day, and we'll... May the winds not blow strangely for you, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> announcement coming <laughs> soon on this channel. <laughs> and an announcement coming soon on this channel for something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good day, guys. So long, gay boys. Bye.